Top of the middle of the day to you boys and girls. We're on location. We're out in the snow zone over on the east side. Today for your viewing pleasure, we're going to do a Ford versus Chevy grudge match here. We have a 572 XP in the foreground, 32 inch still lightweight bar, full comp Windsor chain. Right behind it we have a 462. So the 572 is auto-tuned. The 462 is the Mtronic version, so they're equal in that capacity. We've been checking out both these saws a little bit with the tack. Um, the wide open throttle numbers are completely polar and they're completely haywire, both of them. Which, we're trying to monitor an interruption in the spark running through the lead, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm curious to see how these two do time-wise. The 462 is well broken in. It has 20, 25 days on it. The 572, I don't even know if it has half as much time on it. Um, so it'll be curious for me personally to see how they compare time-wise. I'll try to get it um, as close to perfect for the two of them as I can and we have to remind ourselves that the 572 comes in at 70.6 cc's I think it is whereas the 462 is 72.2 rounding to one decimal place on both of them I think that's the number that we're looking for on each of them so um, actually a pretty good advantage goes out to the um, 462 um, up about a cc and a half so if the 572 does the same amount of time through the run that's actually saying something to the engine design which it has a way under square um, design uh, 39 millimeter stroke by a 48 millimeter board versus the 462 which has a 52 millimeter bore and a mini 34 millimeter stroke. So instant RPMs on that saw. I like the way the 572 pulls. Um, I've run that saw with a 33 and even a 36 a little bit. It pulls pretty good. 32, 33, 36 would be the uh, 115 driver bar. It's actually 34 and a half, but who's going to go down that road, I guess, at this point. So let us begin this session, see how it works out. We got a 9600 notation, but we got wide open throttle running half or so, not quite half, but anyway, uh, pretty hard to get a good reading with these new saws that are cutting out the pulse or the, I guess, the electrical circuit that's heading out to the um, spark plug. I'm curious, the uh, still shows up, it goes just the opposite, it doesn't read low, it reads super high, um, they're polar opposites, it's, I find it fascinating that that is the case, personally.
Oh, and in the ongoing saga and development, I threw the chain one time on this thing and I blew out the little... There's a kind of a stud that sticks up right there. I don't know if hopefully you can see it. The dark colored round piece that was the bottom part of the operation that holds on the dust flap. So this thing is super lightweight, but I'm thinking maybe a little bit too lightweight. Like I said, between the husk barn and the still, they're polar opposites in the reading when the, um, basically it's the electrical charge that heads up the lead to the spark plug. They're trying to monitor the pulse essentially, and it's way haywire between the two of them, and it's way haywire collectively. So, um, yeah, kind of interesting. tried something a little different. I actually set this um, tack up a little differently the way it's monitoring or at least the mode anyway. Seems like maybe we can actually get a little bit closer. That was just a, I don't even know, interesting. turning 22,000 while we're cutting for sure. So anyway, 
Um, I tried to run them about the same. The 572 feels a little bit um, like it pulls a little bit harder just if you go by feel on the handlebars. I'm curious to see what the time shake out as. And this has been a long-winded session as we've been looking at the coil and the way the electronics work in these two saws, at least when we're talking about the rev limiter cutting in. But anyway, thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth, and thanks for watching.